Welcome to Brake Check. I'm Craig. And I'm Brian. And this is the 2021 Cadillac Escalade Platinum. A car you need a suit for. A car you need pants for. Uh oh. Speaking of exterior, what's up with the exterior? Ooh, yeah. Um, this, you have to start here because you can't miss it. Because you can't miss it, exactly. Like if you're, I was driving in front of you earlier and I, it's all I can see behind me right. is the wall. The wall. Um, I will say that it's very like this. <laughs> very. And uh, these lines right here kind of remind me of like, it's like it's like a chiseled Mitch McConnell. Kind of got, it's got this going on. <laughs> You can see it, right? So it's very turtly. Well, no, there's no, there's no shell. It's just, it's one. It's besides the point. Um, I want to give it credit for keeping homage to Cadillac and keeping the color in it. Yeah, I do like that. Although it lost the little crest. It lost the crest. I'm okay with that. You're okay with that? Yeah, it's like it's like the suit with no tie. That's what it is. Ah, yeah. yeah so I did do this right. No, like a suit with shorts. You meant? No, no. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Well, continuing though, what about these 22 inch rims? Um, they're right, still those babies. They're silly. They're, 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 they're silly. I, will, I think they look good though. No, they look good. They look like they match this trim. They look like an Alcoa aluminum to me. Okay. I don't know what that means, but I like it. It's the type of aluminum wheel that used to be, it's a softer aluminum, but it looks really good. Okay. I don't know if they are or not, but they look like it. I, I like the center cap. I like how you don't see, I, I like how that's covered. Yep. The, the, the simple Cadillac badge with the black behind it. I think that looks good. Classy. Yeah. Very classy. Um, the paint, Craig. Pretty good paint. This is, Sterling metallic, okay? Yep, it looks good. And I can't tell if it is a mist green or a mist blue or gray, depending on the light. Yeah. I love it. I would call it a grayish blue, but, but you're you get, right, it has hints of green. But when you get it to like to it dust or something, there's a little bit of green mist and it's beautiful. I absolutely love the paint. What about these little uh, details in the headlights? Yeah, I don't know you, you really like that. They, um, yeah, they're pretty nice. I like them a lot. There's a lot of Cadillac little cues through, yes. thrown throughout. So in the headlight, you've also got the emblem behind the gauge cluster right yeah, that's, here. That's pretty cool. That looks awesome. Especially at night when you start it, you can see it. Yeah, that's absolutely. pretty cool. The running boards have a strip of LED that downlight the ground at night. You yeah. can't even see them right now, but at night when yeah. you're saying you don't lock the doors and the ground lights up. But when you go mudding, it does cover it and it looks a little it looks funny when only part of it. A little spotty, yeah. yeah. But this isn't really meant for mud, although we tried that. It's, it's not really great for I also mud. like the Cadillac script on only one of the spokes on the wheels. I didn't notice that. I think that's interesting. Nice little detail. Okay, yeah. Yeah. There, you know, and I think that really sums up well, I don't want to get the summary yet, but there's a lot more detail to this than I was expecting. You know what there's a lot more of? Hmm. Interior. Let's check that out. All right, All right Craig. We're in it. It's nice. Really nice. This is uh this is really roomy and, and comfy, and this is what does this what does this thing cost? Like sixty thousand? What is it? It's a little more than that. Well, like seventy? A little more. A little, little more than that. Like can't be eighty? Ninety? hundred and ten thousand. Did you say what'd you say? Uh, hey, would you turn the conversation on his I can't hear you. A hundred and ten thousand dollars. Number one, I can hear you now. Yeah. But I could have sworn through these crystal clear speakers, AKG speakers, which have to be like Croatian or something. Yeah. That uh, you we'll said 110,000? 110,000, well, $109,500 for this particular model I was testing. Well, okay. screw that. I'm, you know what? At that price, I'm buzzing out a stogie. You want one? I'm good. I'm smoking. I'm going to just we, we, sit we, back we, here. No. I'm going to chill. No. And uh, can't, and, can't uh, actually smoke in this car. Okay, what? You can't smoke in this car. Hundred ten thousand dollars. I can't even smoke in it. Yeah, we didn't buy it. This is General Motors car. We don't own this car. <sighs> okay. All right, but you can lounge. So okay, so I can at least lounge. You can. Okay. All well, I'm going to lounge. Inside. What do you think of the interior, Craig? Well, uh, it looks like one hundred ten thousand dollars. It feels like it too. So I'll say that. I think it feels incredible. So you mentioned earlier, in fact, just a few minutes ago, if you, I, if I, if I cover the Cadillac badge up, I would believe this is not a Cadillac. I can see that. And what I mean by that is that in years past, Cadillac and luxury have kind of been laughable. When we were kids, a Cadillac Seville STS, which was cool, was not really well made. It wasn't the final word in quality and luxury. European cars were at the time. Sure. And sure. this now, I've run around in this, I'm not questioning 
Cadillac's credibility anymore. This is a really nice place, really well put together. And the, the quality materials is great. Like the leather feels nice yeah. everywhere. The seats are incredibly comfortable. And you found a feature that I couldn't find earlier, the massaging seats, which are awesome. And all of a sudden you go, I don't care what it costs. I want that seat in my life. Look, $110,000, those massaging seats almost make it worth it. Yeah, completely agree. So I'll yeah. just start, let's say this. I started looking at how to refinance my house. Uh, so <laughs> Right, three times over. But yeah, I'm, I hear I hear what you're saying on the Cadillac thing. Uh, I'll say this to give Cadillac some credit. They've been on this march for a while. They, sure. they, they truly have. Sure. And now I think the 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 one vehicle, the one model in their lineup that's been the farthest behind on that march that they've been on to be a premium uh, European luxury brand fighter mm -hmm. is the Escalade. Yeah, I agree. And I think with this generation, the Escalade is caught up to the rest of the Cadillac group. And it is absolutely what you're saying. It is up there. So that's a good point. We reviewed the Yukon Denali uh, late last year, which is the same, was it TX1 or T1X? Mm -hmm. yeah. We weren't, we didn't hate it by any means, but it wasn't blowing us out of the water. Uh, it reminded us of the trucks a lot. It felt very similar in the interior design. While it was better than the non Denali, it had its own dash. This doesn't feel like the Denali at all to me. When I first got in here, I went, oh, yeah, this is a departure from that. This for the first time, the Escalade feels bespoke to itself, and that's and that's where they they really did good. So right. it's it's so hard to take that take the same actual car, and all brands have this problem: sure. Volkswagen, Audi, sure. Toyota, Lexus. Everybody has this problem to make it differentiate so much that it feels completely different. And this yeah. does feel completely different. It feels nothing like the Econ. Now it rides and drives similar to that. Sure, and we'll get to that more dynamics. But I want to hit a few things in the interior that are impressive to me. And it's the details. Mm -hmm. So you talked about the stereo. AKG mm -hmm. is how the stereo is branded. And I'll be honest, I thought it was a Croatian cell phone company at first. I had no idea who it was. There's no brand recognition to the masses with that name. It turns out it's just a Harman brand. Um, and actually it was, a, it was a microphone brand like in the 60s or the 40s or something. Yeah. Um, but now they've done their own stereo. There's 36 speakers in here. We have not found all of them. Uh, that's a lot of speakers, but I all believe it. I believe it. it because when you put the radio on, yeah, it... it most cars, when you turn the radio on, you 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 know where all the speakers are coming from. You right. kind of you can feel it. You can, you can feel it. Right. You turn this. You turn it on here. It's very natural sounding. It's, it's very a wash. It's crystal yeah. clear. Yeah. The the low the highs are crystal clear and the lows don't go away. Right. And it's that is hard to do both and it does really good at that. It's balanced well. There's yeah. speakers in the in the head or headliner. There's two in the headrest right here. Mm -hmm. They're across the dash. And then I think about the dash and the A pillars. Look at the grill covers on the dash, and it looks kind of like a waterfall going into mm -hmm. it. You've got these lines that are perforated. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. The cross stitching that goes around these OLED monitor screens, which is probably the the crown piece of this thing. Probably, absolutely. They're touch interactive. You have night vision camera for the driver. You have AR navigation, which you struggle mm -hmm. with its use. I do too. Yeah, augmented bit. reality. Yep. Augmented reality. Mm -hmm. It's a novelty, but it's pretty cool. So it'll mm -hmm. actually show... For example, you'll have your navigation, which is also an option. You can have your Google Maps screen projected where the speedometer would normally be, mm -hmm. which looks great. In fact, one of the best digital clusters I've, I've ever used. Yeah. Um, but the AR will then take those directions and have a live feed from the front camera on the bumper. And the street you need to turn on has an arrow on it, like floating and flashing, telling you where to go. Yeah. That, so, it's, it's Again, it's, it's a novelty. It's right. neat. I don't know how many people would use it, but it is cool. It's cool to have it. Yes. I have yeah. one negative for the interior. Mm. And it's more from those that have ridden this car with me. They all, every person commented on it that I had in this thing. The wood grain looks like parquet flooring. Okay. It looks like 70s style parquet flooring. I like it because it's different. I and do. it's not the same normal wood. Wood. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. But me either. But it's something that was notated by others. Yeah, but so. it, de it definitely looks like real wood. Yeah, absolutely. So, on um, that note, you want to drive it? Yeah, let's drive this sucker. Let's go. Okay, sir, we are loaded and we're ready for departure. Shall we launch? Uh, yes, would you please proceed? Absolutely. Gently. As you wish. <sighs> so comfortable. And that 6.2 liters of American push rod muscle. Yes! 420 horsepower, 460 oh, yeah. foot pounds of torque. Wait, wait, I thought it was 600 pound feet of torque. No, 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 That that's just a that's just an arbitrary number on the tailgate. Oh, so it's not an Escalade 600? No, 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 no. I'll put the this is an Escalade Platinum. This is a Platinum, but not a 600. No, 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 no. That number means a newton meter torque. So it's 600 newton meters. Well, no, it's actually like 534. I'll put the number up on the screen. So, so okay, it's the torque rating in non-US numbers, but rounded to the nearest hundred. 
This is about as confusing as me trying to explain to you electric vehicles. Okay. It's not, don't start that. Please. <laughs> okay. Please don't start that. <laughs> okay, which well, just does not happen. What is the MPGE on this? Don't care, doesn't work, doesn't matter. <laughs> no. Okay, give them the dynamics. Tell me about this, the dynamics. Dynamics. This yeah, baby. Whoa, okay, a little okay. body roll, a little oh. body roll. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was body roll or the earth tilted a little bit. <laughs> so this thing, I, I, I weighed this. It weighs 6,100 pounds with me in it. With you in it. Okay, so I was gonna say the curb weight is just over 58 dry, without fuel or right. oil, yeah. coolant, that kind of that stuff. That was about a half a tank of gas. Okay, so with fluids and you, it's, yep. it's at that point. Okay, great, we've got drive modes in this thing. Which four of them. Four of them. You've got Tour, Sport, which makes no sense. Tour is the best one. Tour is the best one, it's the most well-rounded. Mm -hmm. You have Off-Road, which makes even less sense, which I'll get to in just a minute. Okay. And you have Tow Hall, which makes good sense. Okay. I'm okay with that. Okay. Um. Tour is where this thing should be. That's the strong point of this. this That's where it should be 90% of the time. 90% of the time. Sport doesn't make a negligible difference. And now, mag ride suspension, which is the magnetically controlled fluid within the dampers, mm -hmm. which GM started out with and has yep. done really well with, yep. could do better here. Mm. And I'm gonna be a little critical because I feel like it could be softer in some scenarios, and it could be. It is a tall 6,000 pound vehicle. I know that, but then when you go to firm, I'm going, okay, well, it doesn't ride as good as I thought it would. It does not ride bad, but it doesn't ride quite as supple as I thought it could. So okay. maybe it's sporter than I think. So I go to sport mode, and it doesn't ride quite as tight as I thought it would either. Fair point. I will say this. It was when I hustled on a back road, Yeah. put it in sport mode, it did help some. Some. Yeah, it's not nothing. Yeah. Which says a lot in all reality, because yeah. it's hard to make this feel different. It's a big, heavy car. Okay, you said something about off-road mode. What's, what's the off-road mode? Okay, that is the most pointless feature to me on this car. <laughs> okay. And the reason why is it has a low air dam for fuel efficiency, which does work. Yep, it's just going to rip it off on the off-road. rip trail. it off, and you have 22s, which means you have very little sidewall. You can also add one more thing to the off-road mode that's the problem. Sure. It doesn't have a two-speed transfer case, so there's no four low. That was the next part. So, we've talked about for ages. This is an all-wheel drive system that is for inclement weather. Mm -hmm. It is not for real off-roading. Right, which is what most people need it for to be, be Totally. Honest. Snow, ice, got you covered, excellent. It does have the auto mode. It does have auto mode, which we like that a lot. Yeah. Okay, tow haul mode, you like that? I do like that because the shift points are pretty good. It's it's more like sport mode, actually. Yeah. It holds gears better than sport mode does. Yeah. Can I tell you what I like about tow haul mode? Yes. If you go to the car info screen, and then you swipe to the right, you can get to just a tow screen. Yes. And it gives you, right here, Coolant Trailer temp. brake, gain, coolant temp, and transmission temp. Put it into a haul mode, right. you're good to go. And that gets back to the, the crown jewel of this car and see the screens. Man, they're amazing. They are really good. And they are made by LG. Mm -hmm. And you can tell because the user interface feels and looks like an LG system. Yep, it's, it's, which is a good thing. It's fluid, it's it's not slow, it's not laggy at all. And at night, there's, and it's there's no screen glare. It's not blinding at night, right. and you can see it in the day. That's, That's great. That's hard to do. That, I think that's that's the hat trick yeah. of this thing. Here's your score. Three, two, one. Two, two three, four. What? Huh? What, which one is it? Uh, I'll explain. You go ahead. It's two because it's not a Raptor and has Apple CarPlay. That's it. No, you're wrong. It's two because it's got Apple CarPlay waiting. and Overland Ability. It does not have Overland Ability. It, uh, we got video to prove it. It is Overland Able. So there's that. Number one. But that's what hipsters would score. But then it would end up a four. The reason they would score low initially is because of the price. And the sure. bougie-ness of it all. Sure. They would not be happy about that. But then what would happen is they would get in it and they would do what we've done. And they would figure out how the massage seats work <laughs> and how roomy it is. And how nice And how is. not raptory it is. And they would go, this might be a four. So what? There, yeah, there you go. You two points Viewers, you know I'm right. Okay. Just put it in the comments. Hey, here's why you're wrong. Steve Kuka, I'm expecting you to prove me right on this one. Steve, listen for a second. This thing has no grunge factor to it. It which means it's too posh I understand for hipsters. That. That's what I'm saying. They're going to want to score lower, but they're going to end up scoring higher because they won't be able to help themselves. You know I'm right on this. It is a nice interior, but I want to disagree with you. And on the Overland score part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Overland did it. You saw it. This thing, while it is all-wheel drive and is an SUV, go off road. It's got, we'll got off-road mode. Will never be overlanded. But you could. But you won't. But you could. And that's the difference. You won't. Twenty-two you could, wheels have no. But business. you could, so it counts. A Kia Seltos will be overlanded before this will. You could. Who's it for, Craig? <sighs> Who's this car for? Sport this cut wearing fools. This car. This car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's this car for? I'll tell you who this car is for. 
It's for anybody that wants to be a pimp. Oh, great. <laughs> Pimping ain't easy, my man. It and is what, if you got the money. You got money. If you got the money, you can do it. <laughs> and that's who this car's for. Okay. With that, thanks for watching. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, go to breakcheckshow.com for all the things you want to follow. Instagram, all that business, podcast. Don't forget to watch that. And we appreciate it. I can't believe we did that way. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> perfect. Done. <laughs>